The optimal treatment for older patients with DLBCL is actually very, very variable. Uh, from institution to institution and among private practices, people use a whole variety of regimens. I think the most common regimen utilized is our mini chop. But if you look at that regimen, it's about a 50% dose reduction approximately from standard RCHOP21. Split dose RCHOP is using a modality where you give the same dose intensity of RCHOP21, but you give it in a fractionated dosing schedule over a protracted period of time to improve the tolerability of this regimen. We studied this in older patients in a prospective clinical trial with two academic centers uh, with diffuse large B cell lymphoma. The median age was 81, and um, these patients had advanced stage disease, so mostly stage three or four. Uh, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Uh, using this regimen, we also applied an interim evaluation using PET-CT and MRD testing using a cell-free DNA assay. For those patients who were interim MRD negative, they would be de-escalated to a protracted regimen and stop split dose RCHOP after four cycles instead of the full six. We now are presenting our sort of interim feasibility endpoint. The end of treatment CR rate was our primary outcome, and we were above our feasibility endpoint with the end of treatment CR rate of 71%, or 10 of 14 patients achieving a complete remission at the end of treatment. The most interesting data point, and again, this is early, but those patients who were interim PET negative and interim MRD negative, five of the six actually opted for the abbreviated arm. And for those patients, all six of them remain in remission to date. Of course, we need longer follow-up, but these suggest that perhaps we can de-escalate um, in older patients where less therapy could be beneficial in a subset that are early responders. We look forward to continuing to enroll on this trial and present updated data in the future.